course, the information in this module is accurate and complete to the best of our knowledge. All recommendations are made without guarantee on the part of the author or the sponsoring institutions. The author and the sponsoring institutions disclaim any liability in connection with the use of this information. Substitution matrices for amino acids provide a likelihood for a character substitution. The aim is to penalize the alignment of residues together if they have a low probability of being homologous and rewards those changes that are highly probable. The most commonly used substitute matrices are the block substitutions, Blossom and the point accepted mutation, PAM. In the next two presentations, will dwell in some aspects of statistical thinking behind their constructions. As you finish this module, you will be able to explain and calculate the percentage of identity in a block of sequence alignments, describe likelihood, log odds ratio, and their calculations in the context of blossom matrices, and Identify the likelihood of substitution according to the values of a blossom matrix. Protein scoring matrices should take into account the statistic of conservation and substitution of characters in nature. In order to be consistent with nature, identical amino acids should score higher than any substitution and conservative substitutions should score higher than non-conservative ones. We assume that the preservation of characters dominates in homolog sequences. Thus, the percentage of identity, this is the number of matches in their ungapped alignment, over the total number of pairs is a measure of relatedness. The higher the percentage of identity, the shorter the evolutionary time that separates the sequences. This block of histone segments that was presented in a previous module has a percentage of identity of 89. In the construction of the Blossom family of matrices, around 2,000 block segments were analyzed for more than 500 groups of related proteins. These blocks were clustered according with their percentage of identity. Blossom K is a member of the Blossom substitution family. The number K indicates that the statistics were taken from blocks with at most K percent of identity. Thus, the higher the value of K, the shorter the evolutionary distance. Instead of a probability, each entry in a substitution matrix provides the log odds ratio for the replacement of a pair of characters. A log odd ratio is a measure of likelihood that is additive and ranges over the set of all real numbers. Positive values provide a measure of the likelihood of a character substitution, while negative values indicates how unlikely the substitution is. We briefly illustrate the main steps in the construction of a blossom matrix. The first step is to eliminate repeated sequences in each block of the cluster of blocks whose percentage of identity is at most k. Next, pairs in the sequences are counted. This count is done column by column and preserving the order of the block. Since there is no information on which characters proceeds in the evolutionary events, each pair of different characters is counted twice. For example, since KT appears twice in the first column, the total of KT, or TK, count is 4. This table summarizes the count of pairs in the first column. Notice that pairs double P, double V, VA, or AV, and double A are not observed. This is a particularity of this example. In practice, as there are several blocks with a great variety of data, all pairs are indeed observed. The result of counting pairs column by column is stored in a table, and each row in a table is added to get the total number of occurrences of each pair in the block under study. These totals are represented in a matrix. Each entry in this matrix is the total count of pairs formed with the row and the column characters. 
In order to calculate the frequency of each pair, each number in the previous matrix is to be divided by the total number of possible pairs, which is given by this formula. In our example, this formula gives 30 possible pairs. After division by the total of possible pairs, T, matrix C, is changed to the matrix Q of the frequency of the occurrence of each pair. To complete the log odds ratio calculation, we need the expected probability of the occurrence of each character in the block. These are derived from the matrix of frequencies with the formula above. The expected probability of each character in the block of our example are listed below. The final step is a calculation of the expected frequencies, which result almost directly from the expected probabilities. This matrix summarizes the expected frequencies of the pairs in the block under study. The log odds ratio of two characters, x and y, is defined as the logarithm of the ratio between the frequency and the expected probability of x and y. In this case, we have taken logarithm in base 2, but base 10 or e may be used as well. Since the logarithm of 0 is not defined, some entries in our log odds ratio matrix will not be defined. As remarked before, this does not happen in practice. Matrix L shows the log odds ratio of the observed pairs in our block. The final step in the blossom calculation is a scaling and round off of these values. As in Blossom, we round off to the first decimal place the values of matrix L scaled up by 2. Here is the result. It is worth pointing out that our example is too small to have statistical value. As a matter of fact, according to matrix V, the substitutions of K and T, T and V, and V and A are likely. The sole substitution that is unlikely is that of K by V. As we will see, this does not occur in real biological substitutions. For the sake of space, we present here just the upper leftmost half of Blossom 62. The first thing to notice is that most entries above the diagonal aren't negative or null. The highest entry in this block of Blossom 62 corresponds to the pair C and C which means that C is the most likely to be conserved among the characters in the upper block. In contrast, the entry A and A has a relatively low but still positive value. This means that A is less likely to be conserved than C. The entry corresponding to A and C is zero, meaning that a substitution of A and C may occur by chance. The entry corresponding to C and E is among the lowest negative values in the left upper half of Blossom 62. Thus, C and E are among the most unlikely substitutions in the matrix. As an exceptional case, the entry corresponding to D and E is 2. Although less likely than the preservation of each character, D and E, the substitution of E and D is likely. We have overviewed some details in the construction of the Blossom family of matrices. It is important to keep in mind that Blossom substitution matrices provide a likelihood for a character substitution that is constructed with statistics taken from block segment percentages of identity of at most k. Thus, the higher the k, the lower the limits of divergence and therefore, the smaller the evolutionary distance between the sequence segments in the block.